Hello everybody, I'm Granny Ricky and I'm so pleased that you're joining me for a new story. The story we're reading today is called Track Learns About Numbers. Track is that scarecrow sitting on top of the elephant. In front you can see a beautiful peacock and the other birds are the white seagull, the black crow and the little wagtail. I think he's a yellowish color. Why is he called a wagtail? Because he wags his tail. Wag, 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 wag. The story is written by Felicia Law and the illustrations are by Steve Smallman and Shirley Tourette. You are just in time, said the peacock just in time for the grand parade. It will start from here in one minute's time. Look at the peacock telling everybody they're just in time for the parade. That sounds like fun. Track and the birds looked around. A parade? asked Crow. Where is everyone? Yeah, they're a bit puzzled. How can you have a parade when there's nobody to be in the parade? Track is really not sure about this. I'm the parade, said the peacock proudly, spreading his feathers into a colourful fan. You may join my parade if you wish, but kindly keep far behind me. Oh my goodness, this peacock is a haughty fellow, isn't he? But he's mighty, mighty beautiful. Look at these feathers. He opens his tail into a great big fan and each feather looks like it's got an eye on it, doesn't it? Very, very beautiful. The peacock set off, strutting down the centre of the road. That's a silly parade, jeered the seagull, and I am certainly not joining in. I must agree, said Crow, that a parade of one is a very strange sight. Look, there we see the back of the peacock as he struts down the road all on his own. A parade of one. Is this a parade? said a deep voice behind them. May we join in? said another. Track and the birds turned to see two huge elephants. Oh, look at them. They are great, big, proud elephants, aren't they? They look like they've got very friendly faces. The birds got a bit of a fright there. Look at the crow and the seagull and the wagtail. They got a bit of a fright with that big voice behind them. you may join, said Wagtail. Two elephants are just what we need. Then climb up, said the elephants, and we'll be off. And with that, they started climbing up onto the elephant. Track the scarecrow is clambering up the side of the one elephant trying to get on top. The little Wagtail is already on the head of the other elephant. The seagull has landed on the yellow cushion and the crow is still flying to sit on top of the other elephant. Oh, look at that parade, cried three women as they filled their water pots at the well. May we come along too? Look at those ladies. Of course, boomed the elephants, but stay far behind. 
we don't want to step on your saris. Do you know what are saris? Saris are those beautiful pieces of cloth that the Indian ladies have wrapped around them to make beautiful dresses. It's called a sari. Oh, look! Look! cried four water buffalo in a nearby field. It's a parade! May we join in? Of course you may, said the woman in their saris. But please keep far behind with those muddy feet. And slowly, the parade is growing, isn't it? Five monkeys look down from the roof of the temple. They pointed their fingers and laughed. One, two, three, four. What you need are five more, they called. Very well, snorted the buffaloes, but keep far behind and don't get into any monkey business. So who do we have in the parade now? We've got the one peacock, two elephants, three ladies, four water buffalo, and about to join are the five monkeys. It really was a very good parade and everything was going very well. Look at that. That is quite a smart parade with the proud peacock out in front. One peacock, two elephants, three ladies, four water buffalo and five monkeys. And then what happened? Stop! roared the tiger, rolling his eyes. No one comes past here until I've had my supper. <gasps> he looks like a really fierce tiger, doesn't he? He's got the most beautiful coat, a golden colour with black stripes. Look at those sharp teeth and those angry eyes. He wants his supper. Help! squeaked the peacock, backing onto the elephant's trunks. Stop! trumpeted the elephants and sat on the woman's saris. Oops! cried the woman, slipping in the buffalo's mud. Whoa! warned the buffaloes, treading on the monkey's tails. Eek! squealed the monkeys as they leapt up the jackfruit tree. Look at the monkeys running up the jackfruit tree here. And over there are the great big jackfruit. Gosh, the tiger did really cause a bit of chaos, didn't he? The jackfruit crashed to the ground bounced several times and rolled towards the tiger. The tiger didn't wait. He was off in a flash. All right, said the peacock as he dusted himself off and tidied his feathers. If you're all quite ready, we will continue our parade. All join in, but please keep far behind. Oopsie. I was showing you that picture there. They're all going to start in the parade again. And the peacock, still the haughty fellow that he is, saying to everybody, please keep far behind. And they carried on with their parade. And at the end of the parade, Track the Scarecrow decided he wanted to take a photograph. Where is everybody? said Track. Please take your seats for the photo. And there he's got five rows of seats. A row with one chair, a row with two blue chairs, 
another one with three yellow or er, three red chairs, four green chairs, and right at the back is a row with five yellow chairs. Do you know where everybody's going to sit? I will sit here, said the peacock, as I am the star of the show. There are two chairs for the two elephants, three chairs for the three women, and please ask the water buffalo to take their seats, said Track. Look at the water buffalo trying to get onto their seats. There is one chair for each of the monkeys. Look at the monkeys getting onto their chairs. Smile, please, said Track. Click. And there is the photo of all the animals that were in the parade. One peacock, two elephants, three ladies, four water buffalo, and five monkeys. That really was a grand parade, wasn't it? I think the story was written and took place in India. In India, you've got Indian elephants and tigers. You've got water buffalo and monkeys. And of course, the Indian ladies that wear their saris. That was a grand story. Look at the back here. We've got a beautiful picture of the Indian ladies in their saris, carrying the great big pots of water on their heads. Track learns about numbers. I hope you learned a bit about numbers too. It's always fun to count, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to say goodbye, Serena. Bye-bye, everybody. But before you go, remember to subscribe and ring the bell so that you can get notification of the next story. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.